Welcome to the intro video for the new business for personal lines course. We are happy you are here and want to start by giving an overview of what to expect from both this course and this video. First, think of the different EasyLinks products as puzzle pieces. Now, think of the new business for personal lines procedure as the completed puzzle. This course will take you through the steps on how to complete the procedure. In doing so, you'll learn how the puzzle pieces make the puzzle an efficient and easy process. This intro or checklist video will help you confirm you have everything you need before diving into the rest of the videos, which will cover the steps on how to complete the procedure. This will allow you to confidently learn knowing you and your account are prepared to take the first step to master easy links. We will cover the different products used to learn the process and make it as easy as possible. Don't worry if you don't have all these products, we will mention if there are alternate routes available. These alternate routes will make completing the task possible but might not be as efficient, so please keep that in mind. While we are covering each product, we will go over any tasks we recommend completing to help make the process as streamlined as possible. Please note that some of these tasks can be completed by everyone in the agency, while some tasks can only be completed by the agency admin. To help you follow along, we've created a physical checklist you can print out to mark off which products you do have and which tasks you have or have not completed. This will help you in later videos to know when you should follow the product route or the alternate route. To find this checklist, hover over the support icon. Then, click on support center. This is where you can find full screen versions of our help articles. Using the search bar, type in new business for personal lines checklist. Then, click on the article in question. Next, right click on the white section of the page. Then, click print. This will print the browser page, so you'll see everything you see on your screen. Continue through the printing process respective to the web browser you are using. Now that you have the checklist printed, let's get started. The first EasyLinks product on our checklist is Rating Engine. With our Rating Engine product, you can import customers and leads, set carrier logins and defaults, run quotes, and create quote templates. If your agency doesn't have Rating Engine, we recommend using the manual application and manual quote features to help quote on the carrier website directly as an alternate route. To know if you have this product, navigate to a customer's account. Once you land on the customer's account, click on the Actions drop-down in the top right-hand corner, then hover over Add Application. If you have Rating Engine, you'll see options to add Auto, Home, Dwelling Fire, and Manual Applications. The second EasyLinks product on our checklist is Communication Center. More specifically, you'll want to have email campaigns enabled and configured. With our email campaigns product, you can bulk email your customers or you can send a single email campaign to a select few customers. Using email campaigns in combination with our reports feature also allows you to build well-defined recipient reports and send targeted marketing messages. If your agency doesn't have communication center or email campaigns, we recommend using the one-off email feature as an alternate route. To know if you have this product, hover over the communication center icon and you will see email campaigns. The third EasyLinks product on our checklist is the Gmail add-on, Outlook plugin or add-in, which is part of communication center as well. These features help create a bridge between your email and EasyLinks. You can easily save all emails and attachments between clients in EasyLinks for a clear audit trail of communication in one place. Without the plugin you can export emails manually, then upload into EasyLinks. To know if you have this product, you must have the communication center icon. The fourth EasyLinks product on our checklist is Sales Center. With our Sales Center product you can assign opportunities, import leads for prospecting, manage producers and processes, and set up automated events with the ability to expand using Automation Center workflows. If your agency doesn't have Sales Center, we recommend either the import feature for existing customers or the create new personal or commercial applicant feature for new customers, as an alternate route. To know if you have this product, you will see the Sales Center icon. To know if you have prospecting to import leads, click on Prospecting and you will see an option for file imports. The fifth EasyLinks product on our checklist is Management System. With this product you can increase your ability to retain current business while gaining new business. Your quotes, policies and documents are all kept in one place saving time and making it easier to remarket. To know if you have this product, hover over the Applicants icon and you will see an option to create new applicant. The sixth EasyLinks product on our checklist is Accounting. 
This allows you to track commissions, create invoices, manage receivables and payables all in one place. We also integrate with QuickBooks. Without our accounting product you will have to manage finances outside of EasyLinks. To know if you have this product, you will see the accounting icon. The final EasyLinks product on our checklist is Client Center. With Client Center, you can safely share documents with clients. Additionally, clients have access to Client Center 24-7 and can view their policy, print policy documents, submit change requests like adding new holders to certificates of insurance, and view their certificates. Without Client Center you can email or call clients directly to assist with policy documents and certificates as an alternate route. To know if you have this product, when you are on a customer's account you will see the Client Center icon. Next, we'll cover some items we recommend setting up in the products we just spoke about. Before you get started quoting in the rating engine, you'll need to set up your carrier logins, defaults, and broker fees. Additionally, you can utilize quote templates to save you time in the future. Please note, if you are contracted with a broker, they might have already set up some logins and defaults for you. Please check out the video for member agencies on your remaining setup. To set up carrier logins and defaults, hover over the settings icon and click on carrier quoting setup at the top. To add carriers, click on the add carrier button. To input your logins and defaults for a carrier, click on view details in the bottom left hand corner of an individual carrier card. Next, click on the logins tab. Here, you can enter your login credentials for the carrier. Once you enter your credentials, click the save and test button. On the carrier questions tab, you can set your carrier defaults to automatically pre-fill in applications based on the carrier, state, and LOB. For those who are a member of a market access provider, your parent organization will handle the broker fee setup. For non-members, click on the broker fee tab. Admins will see the option to enable broker fees for all users. Enabling this will provide the rest of the agency the ability to see the broker fee tab for this specific carrier. If you checkmark the show broker fees in my returned quotes option, it allows you to see the broker fee in the returned quote results after submitting a rating application within the rating engine. Now, click the Add States field to add the states you would like to set up a broker fee for. Once you've added the states, you'll see two columns, My Defaults and Agency Defaults. The My Defaults column sets the broker fee amount at the user level, while the Agency Defaults column sets the broker fee amount at the agency level. The Agency Defaults will override the My Defaults, as they can only be set up by the admin. Next, input the amounts you would like for both, if applicable. Another admin-only feature is the lock functionality. Clicking on the lock icon will make the broker fee values non-editable on both the broker fee tab and the quote results page. Once you're done, click the save button at the bottom. Keep in mind, you'll need to repeat these steps for every carrier you would like to have a broker fee enabled. Once broker fees have been enabled to show on returned quotes for each carrier, you'll see a box for broker fee in dollar amount on the quote results page. This will be located in the details portion of a given carrier's quote results. If the field is unlocked by the admin, the value can be edited and updated on the quote results page. Next, we have the Easy Login button, which will allow you to automatically log into a carrier's site from EasyLink's rating engine. For supported carriers, once logged in, it will land on your quote to start the binding process. For the management system, you have three options to land on, policy, billing, or claims. It's incredibly useful to keep your workflow efficient, so we highly recommend installing it on every computer you use EasyLinks on. The Easy Login is currently supported for Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. To download the Easy Login button extension on Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, log into your EasyLinks account. On the home page, you'll see a box with text that reads EasyLinks Carrier Integration. Click on the highlighted text, Add Extension. A new window will appear in your desired browser where you'll click on the button that reads, Add or Add to Chrome. Once the extension is installed, navigate back to EasyLinks and refresh the page. Next, our Communication Center product also includes several features that can help you manage and store all your emails in EasyLinks. We highly recommend using one of these features which includes our Gmail add-on, Outlook plugin, or Outlook add-in to establish a transparent record of communication. You can easily add easy links for Gmail from the Google Workspace Marketplace, while the Outlook add-in is available for Office 365 users through the add-in for Outlook store. 
Please note that our plugin is only compatible with the desktop version of Outlook and requires a download link from EasyLinks. To learn more on how to add EasyLinks for Gmail, please refer to our EasyLinks for Gmail article. If you are interested in adding the Outlook add-in or plugin, watch how to install and use the EasyLinks for Outlook add-in or how to install and use Outlook plugin respectfully. It's a good idea to create a CSV of potential customers or leads, especially if you have our Sales Center product. Sales Center allows you to seamlessly import a CSV of leads directly into EasyLinks via prospecting. Once imported, you can leverage email campaigns to send bulk campaigns to leads in an effort to capture new business. Even if you don't have Sales Center, having a list of potential customers to input into EasyLinks is a great help. To get the CSV file hover over the Sales Center icon, then click on Prospecting. From there click on Add New List and a pop-up will appear. In the pop-up click on Click Here to download the approved CSV template for personal or commercial lines. Now, you can add the information about your prospects into the CSV so you will be able to upload them into EasyLinks. Please note, if you do not have Sales Center with prospecting you will need to add your prospect manually by hovering over the applicants icon then click Create Applicant. Within EasyLinks Communication Center product, you can create an email campaign template for personal lines leads. Essentially, the system will trigger the personalized email campaign to be sent to leads based on a timeline of your choosing. This allows you to capture new business with the click of a button. Email campaigns can easily be used in conjunction with our Sales Center product to ensure your agency is exhausting all potential leads. The first item on the list is adding an email template. From the dashboard, hover over the Communication Center icon and click Templates. Creating email templates are a great way to save time and will help you reach out to your prospects via Sales Center. On this page you will see the system-generated EasyLinks templates and any other templates created. Click on Create New Template in the top right to begin. Here, you can enter what you need for your email template, check the boxes to share with agency or sub-agencies if necessary. Then click Save. This section is specifically for admins, as they're the only one with access to Sales Center settings. Within Sales Center settings, admins can set up user permissions and automated events, assign new opportunities, and manage producers and processes. To get to the settings, hover over the Sales Center icon and click on Settings. This will land you on the new Opportunity Management settings. Here you can determine how opportunities are assigned and viewed. Additionally, you can set how automated events are handled along with color coding each producer. The next tab is Process Management. Here, you decide if a status will be displayed and define where the status belongs. These statuses consist of interview, pricing, presentation, decision, fulfillment, hold or reserve section of the sales pipeline. Now, the first setup task for admins and the most important is to set up your management system carriers. This list will populate when using certain products and features like Submission Center, creating manual policies, and downloads. Hover over the settings icon and click on Manage Carriers and Markets. Next, click on Add New Master Company and from here click on the Master Company. A pop-up will appear for you to select the writing companies. When finished click Save. You must add the master company for every carrier you write with. Next is accounting settings. These settings are only available to accounting admins. To access accounting settings, hover over the accounting icon and click on configuration. Here you have access to add payee, line item types, accounts, edit account user permissions and system settings for accounting. Lastly, we have client center. Client Center settings can only be accessed by a Client Center admin. To access, hover over the settings icon and click on Client Center. Here, you have general settings for address, display options, and task scheduling. Next, you have email notification preferences to select who should receive certain notifications. Additionally, we have certificates. Here, you can set what certificates forms can be shared, which is what we'll focus on in the Personal Lines video series. Finally, we have branding which gives you the ability to change the look of Client Center to better match your business. That's all for this tutorial, you should now have the knowledge about what items and tasks to complete before attempting to quote and bind for personal lines. 
Thanks for watching.